For many of us, it is hard to imagine that there are still places where people work for wealthy landowners for little more than room and board. But deep in the tropical forests of southern Bolivia, this is what the indigenous Guarani people continue to endure. Now they are fighting for their rights with the support of the Bolivian government. Here's their story. 4.30 a.m. After working all her life, Inez Ribeiro finds herself at 72 in miserable poverty. Like her parents before her, she spent her life in servitude, toiling for long hours on a privately owned ranch for no pay. It was still dark when we started work in the mornings. We worked until 8, 10 o'clock at night. As a small child, Inez said she was forced to work in the hacienda kitchen, always in fear of the master of the house. I was eight years old, a little girl. We were planting seeds once and he said we were doing it wrong. So he took us to the hacienda, two of us, and he beat us like we were dogs. He beat us. Inez is Guarani. Her people have always lived in the subtropical forests in this remote corner of southern Bolivia. Today, an estimated 2,000 families live on large ranches and estates in semi-feudal servitude and debt bondage. It's a system that goes back to colonial times. It's a very subtle form of exploitation, of domination. Miriam Campos is a lawyer with the Bolivian government's Ministry of Justice and an advocate of Guarani rights to a decent wage and living conditions. People live in really miserable conditions and we see that they have lost their self-respect. Being paid for their labours is crucial to retrieving their self-respect. Because of pressure from people like Miriam, the system is beginning to change and some workers have received retroactive lump sums for their years of labor. But Miriam has also found children laboring on ranches for just 30 cents a day, women working for less than a dollar, and some people receiving nothing at all. Last year, the Bolivian government passed a contentious new land redistribution law. Portions of privately owned land can now be handed back to the Guarani if it's proved that workers are being exploited. The issue of land ownership is tearing the country apart, as ranch owners claim equal rights to the land they were also born on. Roman Reynaga was born here and now owns the hacienda where Inez and her family live. Roman denies that he's exploiting his workers. If I was a bad boss who exploited his workers, I wouldn't have anyone working for me. They would have all left me. Some ranch owners have taken the law into their own hands, recruiting armed thugs to keep government land inspectors out of their properties, thus halting the redistribution of land. Confrontations have been violent. El proyecto ha sido aprobado. Last year, a declaration on the rights of the indigenous was adopted at the United Nations. It calls for the basic human rights and fundamental freedoms of indigenous peoples to be respected and recognizes the ownership of their lands as the key to their survival. And some Guarani have recently received land of their own for the first time in their lives. Deep in the forest in Bolivia, a group of 22 Guarani families are building a new village on land that used to be privately owned. Paulina, her husband and five children, left their house on the hacienda 10 months ago to live under this plastic sheet. In spite of the hardships they're enduring, she relishes her newfound freedom and the fact that her children can now go to school. I tell my children that no matter what, they must study so that when we die, they don't fall back into the hands of the boss. For the first time in centuries, the chance of a better life is on the horizon for the Guarani. But theirs is not the only claim to these lands. We are both Bolivians. We both deserve these lands where we are living. I was also born here. We need to find alternatives where we work together for a better future. How Bolivians resolve the issue of dividing the land will be the key to a better future for the Guarani and for their former masters.